Hi everyone, welcome to SSR classes. Today we have to prove root 7 is a irrational number. So I am going to use contradiction method to prove root 7 is a irrational number. So first of all let us assume that root 7 is a rational number. So first taking root 7 is a rational number and a rational number can be written in the form of p by q so since root 7 rational number so root 7 can be write a by b form okay where a b are co prime integer or prime to each other i will discuss co prime and b never be zero okay so what is co prime or prime to each other two integer a b are said to be co prime or prime to each other if a b have only one common divisor one so let's explain this by taking example so first taking example two comma three and let's check it okay so two can be divided by two on self also two can be divided by one okay now 3 can be divided by 3 on self and 3 also can be divided by 1 so 2 so from this and this we got only one common divisor 1 so here 2 and 3 have only one common divisor and the common divisor is 1 so this satisfy the definition of co prime or prime to each other then we can say that 2 and 3 are co prime integer or prime to each other okay now let us take another example to explain it okay so let us take another example 4 and 6 now 4 can be divided by 4 on self also 4 can be divided by 2 and also 4 can be divided by 1 okay now 6 can be divided by 6 on self also 6 can be divided by 3 also 6 can be divided by 2 and last 6 can be divided by 1 okay so from this and this we got two common divisor 2 and 1 so 4 and 6 have two common divisor and the common divisor is 2 and 1 which does not satisfy the definition of co prime or prime to each other okay so 4 6 are not co prime number integer or prime to each other okay so now squaring both side of the above relation so first squaring both side so root 5 whole square equal to a upon b whole square okay now simplifying this so this is 7 equal to a square by b square implies that cross multiplying 7 b square equal to a square so this is one number one relation okay now we can write b square equal to a square by 7 now I'm going to use a theorem if a square is divisible by a prime 7 then a is also divisible by the prime 7 okay now let's explain it by taking some example so a square divisible by 7 implies that a divisible by 7 if you take a equal to 7 so 7 is square by 7 so this is 49 by 7 so this is 7 implies that 7 also divided by 7 let us take another example 14 a equal to 14 okay so 14 is square by 7 equal to we can write 14 into 14 by 7 so cancel the common factor 7 so 
this is 28 implies that 14 divided by 7 so 2 so from this we can write this okay now we can say that a has a divisor 7 other than 1 okay so we got a divisor of a 7 now we can write a by 7 equal to c for some integer let's explain it if we take a equal to 7 and now 7 divided by 7 so quotient 1 so we can write 7 equal to 7 into 1 another if we take a equal to 14 so 14 by 7 equal to quotient 2 so 14 equal to we can write 7 into 2 if you take a equal to 21 so 21 by 7 equal to 3 so this is 21 equal to 7 into 3 another taking a equal to 28 so 28 by 7 so 4 so 28 equal to 7 into 4 okay so from this relation we can say write a by 7 equal to c for some integer c okay so from this now also we can write from this a equal to 7c for some integer c okay so we can write implies that a equal to 7c now putting a equal to 7c in 1 okay so putting a equal to 7c in 1 we have so 7b square equal to 7c whole square now simplifying this so 7b square equal to 49c square so cancel the common factor 7 so b square equal to 7c square so c square equal to we can write b square by 7 and this is and this is are similar so if b square is divisible by a prime 7 then also b is divisible by 7 okay so we can say that b has a divisor 7 other than 1 okay so from this and this we can say that a b have common divisor 7 other than 1 so we got two common divisor 7 and 1 okay but first we assume that a b have only one common divisor 1 so which contradicts our assumption and our assumption is root 7 is a rational number and a by b a b is a co prime number which contradicts our assumption so root root 7 is not a rational number roots therefore root 7 is a irrational number that's all thanks for watching please subscribe like and comment on my video thanks for watching